Hello, and welcome to the first episode in the DGen Daddy's Group Iron Man Progress series. I'm Kajofo, number two in the group, and I'm here to introduce you to our Group Iron Man accounts and the progress we've made over the last 10 months. We've recently decided to start this series in hopes of showing our progression over time. We're a five-man group and have done both skilling and bossing with general account progression as the goal. As these accounts have been our mains over the last 10 months, we hope to play the game mode for quite some time and see how far we can get. Unfortunately, because we decided to start this YouTube series 10 months into the account, you've missed quite a bit. In today's video, we are going to try and catch you back up to where we are today. All of us are streamers. Twitch channel's in the description, by the way. So luckily, while we don't have everything, we do have a lot of live reactions to document the progress thus far. At the end of the video, I'll come back, we'll go over uh, each account's stats and kind of what we did to begin the accounts and discuss where we're at. And that may include a small bank video to give you a better understanding at the gear and items we have at our disposal currently. If you enjoyed the video and want to continue to see our progress, feel free to hit that subscribe button to catch our future progress updates. I appreciate you all watching and let's jump right into the video. Up first here, after we did a lot of questing and kind of got our base stats up, the very first thing we did bossing wise was go to Dagonoth Kings and uh, we got a little bit lucky to say the least. So here we go with the rest of the clips. <laughs> yes, that's number two. That's number two. Yes. Yes, we love it. We love to see it. Yeah, that's, this has actually uh, been a pretty decently, like, length of a task, right? Yeah. Right. Berserker! Oh, let's go! Let's go. Way, dude. <laughs> yes, baby. Oh my god. Oh, Two archers, god. a Zerker, and a dragon axe, bro. No way. We got another fucking dragon axe? What the shit? And for a while, we only had three Berserker rings and like two archers, so we decided to go back a little bit later in the accounts and finish off the rings we were missing. So this is the Berserker ring number four. And here is our first Dragon Warhammer. I'm going to protect you from the audio because my mic was not good during this time. Uh, I got it at 606 KC, which is very nice. And unfortunately, Call got his off stream as well. I believe he was even more spooned. He got his around 300 KC. Four chances. Here we go. Oh, the Dragon Harpoon. Holy shit, gamers. Holy shit. No way. No way, dude. Oh. If you've never had it, it's... Oh my god. Yes, Talking. It doesn't matter. You got it. <laughs> Finally. Woo! Yeah, baby! The Believers! Bro. <laughs> and of course, every Iron Man group or not at some point needs to go to Zalra. That's blowpipe number one. Yes! Yes! Yes, buddy! Dead? One more person for a hype train. Yes! That's the one we want! Oh, I knew it! Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm so happy. Oh! Tans Fang, baby! Blowpipe number four! Blowpipe number four. I think that's it. No? Yes? Oh, fucking thank god. So del- No! <laughs> the Jebate, dude! Oh, the Jebate. Oh. Well, we can use calls on- or calls any. There it is, there's another death. Oh, Magic Fang! Yes! 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 
Up next, one of the most depressing screenshots we have. Call was killing some Zara and got a lucky drop. Unfortunately, he died before he could pick it up. Okay, boys, we're last. We're down to our last pie. All right. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Look, come on, baby. Come on, baby. That's 120 KC bludgeon, bro. Oh my god. Oh, there it is, baby. Woo, Kojo. There we go. There we go, Kojo. And once we all finished Song of the Elves, we decided as a group to do some Zolcano get towards banking some of the smithing levels required for diaries, etc. And this is before Giant's Foundry came out. Once we finished our basic gear, we headed over to God Wars for the first time and started with Zami. Good trip. Oh, yes! Yes! Let's go, baby! Pick that shit up! Let's go! <clears throat> oh, there you go, Kojo. There you go. Yeah. Oh, Staff of the Dead. That's a dupe. And they're both... Well, both Staff of the Dead drops have been in my name. <laughs> For Zami trip number seven, you get to watch a man go from uh, very happy to very, very sad. Steam Battle Staff, you Ooh. called it. Oh, you called it, bro. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> That's the one you didn't want, but... Uh, of course. Oh my god, I got another one. Uh, another you one. gotta be kidding me. <laughs> wow. Kojo, you cursed us, dude. Shit. There you go. Steam Battle Steam Staff Battle again. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening, Kojo? Yeah, I guess I know what dude. I'm, uh, I guess I know the clips you're sending me. Oh my, my god. god. This is insane. What are you doing with all that? Oh, are yeah, you dude. kidding me? Oh, no are you... way. <laughs> you literally cannot make that up. That is the funniest fucking thing I, I have ever seen. I love that that just happened. <laughs> Call, you may be the luckiest person alive. Oh my god. Call's like just not even helping with the minions. He's like, fuck this game. I'm uninstalling. <laughs> And with God Wars out of the way, it's time to farm some best in slot jewelry. Oh my god, the first kill of the trip. Bro, it's fucking mine. It's fucking mine, bro. This is mine. Y'all can suck my balls. This is mine. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> Oh, there's no chance, dude. Oh my god. There's no way, dude. Oh my goodness. Ask and you shall receive, baby. There it is. Let's do it. And I was muted talking to someone, so I don't have audio, but I actually got my th second Zenny here. I did finish all four off stream. Uh, in about 350 KC, so I was extremely spooned. Just, uh, planning ahead. Yes! There it is! Speaking of a tormented bracelet, it's fucking right there. There she is! That's number two! Me and DJ both got to 91 Slayer, so we started killing the big red dog. Uh, I started us off nicely with a nice and early primordial crystal, which was great. Uh, I'm currently pausing my Cerberus grind only because uh, I'm so low on prayer pots. And while the boots are fashionscape drip, they're not that big of an upgrade. So I'm going to take a quick break from Cerberus. Yes, it's the internal, but yes, we'll take it. I found the pest control AFK players. There you go. That's not the crystal I wanted, but it's the one he deserves. That's um, 
That's really, really not the crystal I wanted. After pausing Serb, I got to 93 Slayer pretty quickly and I decided to kill the big Thermonuclear Smoke Devil for the better chance at the Occult and... <laughs> well, we'll see how that turned out. Alright, is this the... <gasps> oh no, oh my god, bro... And for context, I had killed 600 of the big guy and DJ finally caught up to me and he went to go kill the small guys and well... <sighs> Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Alright, have a good one boys, bye. I'm fucking heading out. This game is such a fucking piece of shit game. This game is the fucking worst game I've ever played in my life. All right, I'm gonna, yeah, I'll, I'll head out. Uh Let's go. Oh my God, it exists. Oh my God, it exists. Oh. That is the end of the clips I have for the last 10 months of the major drops, at least the ones I could find. Now, the next few clips are us getting spooned, and it starts out with me getting my Phoenix at 90 something fire making. I got the. No way! Dude! Dude! I just got the fucking pet! No way! This is my first ever Skatizo kill, not on this account, my first kill ever, and let's see what happens. A free elite task. Oh my god. No fucking way, dude. No fucking way. Let's go. That's pet number two, baby. Let's do it, baby. Well, some bitch. I got the pet. No way. No fucking way. Dude! I... What?! <laughs> Last call might be the only one of us that doesn't have a pet on the group iron yet, but that doesn't mean he's not lucky in his own way. Oh, I missed... Oh! Gilded! Oh my god, dude! No way! Oh! oh. No way, dude! No! Oh my god! Dude! Once again, we're back to me, and this might be the luckiest I've ever been and will ever be. Molten glass. <gasps> no way! No! Oh, boys! Oh my god, no way! Thank you. Oh my god, no fucking way! Oh my god, no, no, no! Oh my, no way! Are you fucking killing me? No, my God, there's no fucking way, dude. To confirm, yes, I did receive three Thermi pets before seeing the occult. I love this game and I love RNG. So this is gonna be a quick walkthrough of where each account's at. Uh, you can see all of our stats on screen. Uh, starting the top left, we have Daddy Nemi. He's the number one in the group. He's also the leader and he has uh, 2063 total uh he is a robot <laughs> as you can see robot goes beep boop he's kind of the the meme in our group um he also does have a a, a, a very 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 close uh to maxed iron uh so i think he might have among the most uh high level experience um whereas i took a long long break before starting group iron and uh this is by far the farthest i've ever taken account uh so kind of in the stats we can see uh he's done just a lot of general um skilling he was the first one to train construction so that we could use the house uh he was also the first to uh get crafting so he can craft all our zennies uh he was among the first to high level slayer with me 
Um, he did just a lot. Uh, mainly the things he got boosted though were, were crafting. We all got sand and seaweed for him. And then a little bit here and there. Maybe, I don't think, I think he did construction by himself. Uh, yeah, it's realistically only the crafting that he got boosted, which is nice. Uh, then we can come to me, uh, the account that only really gets spoon niche items and goes dry on anything we're looking for. I've just done a lot of combat. I'm lacking on a lot of some of the easier skills. I don't have a ton of AFK time, so my AFK skills are a little bit behind the, uh, the mark. But, I mean, that's just some levels I can get while I'm editing now, which is kind of nice. Um... I started getting boosted by a little bit of Herblore. I've kind of paid everyone back for the Herblore XP they gave me early on for like Staminas and stuff. Um, but I kind of, uh, like it's nice, I can take care of the super combats now. Um, we just hit 96 Slayer, which is nice. It's kind of the last thing I did before taking this screenshot. Uh, in general, I'm just trying to do combats. I'll finish off Slayer and all my combats, excluding Prayer, maybe. Um, and then I'll start skilling, trying to push towards the max. But I do want to finish uh, Slayer before going nuts on some of the other skills. Uh, Shadow, he's done a fair amount of AK AFK. He uh, recently took on the grind to get 92 mining, so he's getting us Amethyst, which is actually awesome. Uh, he's also making a, a Slayer push right now. Kind of the meme with his account, though, is uh, he said he was going to rush Zalra and then didn't do very much Zalra until we had a lot of the uniques. And then he said he was he got uh, 77 rune crafting and said he was going to AFK a ton of blood runes. And, well, as you can see, he's still 77 rune crafting. So take everything he says with a grain of salt, but his account is looking nice at 1948. So can't complain there. Call, he has the best XP to child ratio, uh, <laughs> as he's the only one of us with a, a kid, so obviously his play, uh, play time is cut into a little bit, but he hasn't fallen behind hardly at all. He still has a very good account at 1858. Uh, I'm, he is actually... <laughs> He's funny. He has uh, on his stream on Tuesdays, he does total level, total level Tuesdays. So I wouldn't be surprised if in the near future, he actually has the highest base level. Um, he'll come up pretty quick on the runecrafting construction levels and all that stuff. So I would not be surprised if he was the first one to base 80s. Uh, and then there's Halo who joined us a little bit later in the, uh, the accounts. Uh, he also has a high level... Uh, experience and account and for him he's just he's kind of playing catch up he's going to be doing a lot of afking on the, his melee stats he said doing some slayer and just general uh getting some levels so it should be good really quick to finish the video i'm going to jump into a quick uh group storage bank video just to show exactly what's in there uh, i'm sure there's lots of items that are in people's banks uh, but there is a lot of shared items that are always in there so we'll go through that really quick up top we start with some potions some food some uh prayer book stuff so if anybody sees an open or finishes the book they can just yank it um we got our leaf beetle leaf bladed battle axe for anyone who uh doesn't have one. I think we have three total. Uh, really nice item to have is the Bandos Play Body for the clue. Uh, just some, just some Barrows gear. That is our full set of Guthans. I believe we might have two full sets now, but I'm not 100% on that. Uh, some other small stuff. The Circle for the uh, clue step. There's one of the two Dragon Two-Hander uh, swords. Um, we got a lot of. Uh, Bless Dehyde now, which is nice, uh, especially when we're going to God Wars and we got a Divya uh, who has what from what god so that we all have protection. Uh, we got some extra staffs. There are two Staff of the Dead, some Dust Battle Staffs, some Steam Battle Staffs. Uh, we do have a Heavy and a Light Ballista. I mean, I guess that's not a great thing, but uh, you'll see we're, we're quite on our way to finishing the zenites uh just some random mage gear i believe these are for a clue as well uh comp bow some other ballista items some random logs some in case you're doing zalra we have some re uh recoils ready to be made 
some fire lighters. I steal all the purple ones for the Phoenix. I'm still waiting for like 50 more, I think. Uh, we've got a lot of catalytic talismans from uh, Temple of the... No, not Temple of the... Gardens of the Rift. Um, two God Sword shards. We're still waiting on shard number two before we can make a blade. Not that we have a hilt to attach it to. Bob's shirt, again, I believe that's for a clue. We got some Tazar items. Uh, we have one Malediction. That's, I can't remember who got it uh, when they were going for the Rune Crossbow, I believe. Uh, we got a headband, another cr uh, clue item. Croizier, another clue item. Uh, two Dragon Chain Bodies. I believe both of these came from Dust Devils. Actually, I'm almost 100% sure both of these came from Dust Devils. Um, and I think both of them might have even been clays, which is disgusting. Um, we have our two Warhammers. We have our two Archer's Ring. We might have three of these total. I can't remember. Uh, one Warrior Ring, no Seer's Ring. We all have five Berserker Ring, or we all each have one for a total of five Berserker Rings. Uh, extra set of carols. I'm pretty sure I have an extra set of carols. Some super combats for when we need it because we finally unlock those. Some scales for in case someone accidentally uses all their scales and needs to go back. Uh, the bludgeon. I believe this is the first extra bottomless compost bucket. A dragon axe for whoever's woodcutting. The hosta, which is uh, one of the spears. And then kind of all our jewelry, uh, which is very nice. We have the one Hasta, the Suffering. I believe we have two Sufferings total. Uh, three Anguish, three Torture, three Tormenteds, uh, three Occults. So we got three full sets of gear, excluding the Suffering. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, we got the two Toxic Tridents, which is nice. Two BCPs. We still don't have bottoms, so we decided to go by the Obsidian Legs because technically they're best in slot melee legs for us. They're plus one melee strength, but... Uh, to continue, we had the two uh, Serp Helms. We got two or three Tomes of Water. I can't remember, but we have at least two. And one of those is in here. Uh, I threw my blowpipe in here. Uh, we have four total. We're still hunting the last one, but we obviously need to go back for more magic fangs and serp helms. So it's not that big of a deal if we uh, don't finish the blowpipes first. Uh, two eternals, which is nice. So total, we got the prims and the internals. That's all our super, uh, Cerberus boots. And then Clay, who got one or both of these dragon chain bodies, also got a, an abyssal dagger from uh, the regular demons, which is fucking crazy. That's a 1 in 32k. I want to say these are 1 32k as well, but I may be wrong. They might be 1 in 5k. I really quickly got everyone to send me their bank value, and adding it all up, we're somewhere really close to 1.5 bill, somewhere between 1.4 and 1.5. So that's really, really awesome. Congratulations, you've made it to the end of the very first episode of the DGen Daddy's Progression series. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see future installments, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you loved the video, hated the video, anything in between, make sure you leave a comment telling me your feelings. If you're watching this video and it just released, I will be live on Twitch for who knows how long, but you can come and see me at twitch.tv slash the link is in the description, and while you're in the description, make sure you hit all the other links and follow everybody on Twitch. I appreciate everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye.